So hello and welcome back to the crew, you guys are absolutely amazing. The support in the first part was incredible. I'm just gobsmacked. So get those likes and stuff coming and I'll definitely try and do some more episodes on this. But um, what I've done, I've played all the story missions again and they're exactly the same. There's no new story missions at all. So if you did miss all the story missions in my last like little mini-series of the last beta, click the link below. It's like a part number two. I'll go through all the story missions and you guys can see that. So completely up to you. Um, it's just a different vehicle. So um, that's, that's it. So there's no new ones at all. But I do have a little mini giveaway. So I got 10 beta keys for the PC. The console one starts at the end of September, by the way. So just to confirm that. But this is for the PC. So I've got 10 codes. Um, all you got to do is simply follow me on Twitter and then click the click to tweet to actually enter the giveaway. So there's two things to do. It's very simple. I can't do the, the giveaway via YouTube because it doesn't work. Um, YouTube would like copyright strike me and it would wreck my channel. So the giveaway is outside of YouTube, it's on Twitter. All you're gonna do is follow me, like I said, and then to click the click click to tweet, and then you enter for the giveaway to get a code. I'll be giving out the codes slowly throughout the next couple of days. So yeah. Um there's ten codes, got quite a big chance of getting some codes, so definitely enter. And let's get straight into this episode. So this is my Dodge uh, my Dodge Challenger, and it's in New York. We're actually in New York, which is awesome. And also I stopped to buy the car shop just over here so we're gonna quickly go and see what cars we could perhaps purchase um i don't know let's see what happens i guess what cars can we purchase oh the birdies oh so many cars i think there's more cars actually and then the uh the first beta i don't recognize some of the cars which is interesting right so we've got the so a Ford Fiesta, full Focus, sorry, 2010. Very nice. Oh, Jesus, nice. That's good for off-road, isn't it? Um, oh, that's so tempting to buy. How much money do I have? I need 99,000 for that. I cannot afford it. I want a Skyline so bad. Oh my God, the cars are so good. There's so many nice cars. I can't buy any of them apart from that, <laughs> which is a lot slower. And that's, yeah, let's not do it. Okay, well, that sucks. I thought we could perhaps purchase a new car, but I can't afford it. Perhaps if we save up and we do a bit of exploring and stuff, we might get some money. I don't know. Um, also, I unlocked the, the dirt spec for my car, so I can uh, quickly go and upgrade my car, put some dirt stuff on it if I want to. I'm not sure if I'll run the dirt, the dirt at all, the dirt spec, but we can still look at it anyway. So, car tuner dirt. Ooh. Also, like I said, we're in New York, which is pretty awesome. At night time as well, looking very pretty. Even New York, just by itself, is pretty big. It's just crazy how big this map is. And it's quite scary to think I'm going to do a couple of videos on me literally going from one side to the other. This will be part number one. And then we'll lead on to part number two, where we just cross the whole of America in the crew, which would be amazing. Um, but like I said, we can't go up any levels. We're stuck at level 10. We cannot do any more story missions. Which sort of sucks, but obviously the full games comes out in November. And I'll probably do um, the more again then, so... Um, I probably will. I, I, I don't know. We may do more crew. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. I recognise this bridge. I remember crossing this when I went to New York. It took forever, but it was so good. Um, I love New York. I, I, really, I really want to go again, because I went when I was quite young. And I'd love to uh, ex sort of see it again. It'd be so cool. I think about going to America that always gets me excited. I went to LA this year and it was super exciting. We shouldn't get much time to explore. So I was supposed to turn off then. I was supposed to turn off. Sorry people, I've got to reverse. <laughs> this is not safe. I do apologise. Yeah, like I said, we're just going to do a bit of exploring basically. It should be a lot of fun. Just free roaming, looking at some new stuff. What I'm going to do is make a quick trip to, uh, to Washington DC, which is fairly close to New York. Um, in the game but it takes even then it takes a little while it's still like a 30 minute journey which is mental at least we take even longer um what time did i actually start recording i forgot to check what time i started recording right where's the time right it's three o'clock okay that's fine i'll do is stop off here this will be quite probably quite a long video um so enter here put my dirt spec on so there's five different um, specs. I have got the street one and the dirt one so far. Obviously the full game will have the extra three, which is like circuit and stuff like that. And it just looks very cool. And I love the fact when you can change your car so dramatically, it looks mental. Right, dirt kit, um, prepaid by Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. 
you little legend. Right, let's put the starter kit on. Oh yeah, look at those big wheels. Despite being sunk in the floor a little bit. Oh, that is so good. So what's that? What's this bit here? Like you find hot rod. Well, that's for then. I'm guessing this is like the cars we can buy as well. Ah, oh, you can just literally just buy them outright. What's that? Oh, GT500. Oh my god. You are so pretty. Does this have the whole car collection in the game? I want to do how many cars there actually is as well. That would be quite interesting to find out. But now we have the uh, the dirt spec on. Can okay, now zoom in. So that's it with the dirt spec on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Very nice. I've, oh, probably. Is that visual different actually? Like the front bumper, is it? Is it more like. Yeah, it's more like a sort of. Obviously, a dirt spec look. It's actually quite cool. So it's like a different. Almost like a completely different front bumper. Very nice. Whoa! Gotta be kidding me. That one looks so good. Oh, I want that one. That is awesome. Jesus, that was crazy. Right? That rear bumper as well. That wing. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, these look so good. I quite like. What's that one? Number five. Um, which one do I prefer? That's a bit too beefy for my liking. Let's go for number five. That looks pretty awesome. Spending more monies, which is probably not the best idea ever. Um, no, also skirts as well. Skirts. You gotta add some skirts. But a nice new hood. Oh, I'll put a rear wing. I'm gonna leave that. Quite like this, the standard one. Actually, that looks pretty. I don't know. Do I like that? Or do I want that? I don't really want a rear wing on it at all, to be honest, but. Let's get to the hood. Boom. Boom. It's all carbon. I'm going to keep the one I like. I quite like the one we just get. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's go for that. Boom. Yes. That looks insane. So, how does the leveling work? Does. I don't know. Is it. Does it. Is it different for the street and different for the dirt? Like, in terms of. I guess we'll find out. In terms of, like, level and stuff and points you put on your car. Ooh. What's happened? What's that? <gasps> it's PvP, actually. Oh, I did try this last time. It didn't work, though. We could try again, though. So that's PvP East Coast Lobby. Um, perhaps we do it in, like, another episode. If we, we might try and get it to work, because it may take me a little bit of time to get in. That's always a bit inconvenient. Purchase a level 10 car part. Spent 5,000 on buying car parts. Oops, I feel slightly guilty. This car is like a mammoth beast now. I love it. Let's look at the headlights on the front. Oh, it's so good. So, whoa. Almost destroyed it. Oopsie doodles. So the dirt car also has a little bit more um, terms like um, strength. So it's got slightly more bars. You can sort of so you can take more knocks. Which is actually pretty nice. Actually, the PvP is just here. Oh. You're not ready for this yet. Get more experience. Right, so my dirt spec actually has 175 level, and my street one actually has 162, so it's actually slightly better. See, so health there is 70. Acceleration on the street is slightly more. Top speed is a lot more on street as well, so you can see this all comparisons. Um, I mean, even dirt's got less grip, which I guess makes a bit of sense because the tires aren't as they sort of got more grooves in them, so I guess that does make sense. Let's quickly switch back to the, uh, the street car. And we're going to head off. So which way should we go? Let's go to Washington, which is just over here. Set waypoint, and let's rock and roll. It's so good. I love this game. I love it to bits. I just can't wait for like more story stuff. I'm actually quite intrigued to see what actually happens in the story. It is quite rare for a racing game. It's got a sort of... Um, Sort of need for speed, sort of. It's it's not. It's very cheesy, but it still like draws you in, I guess. That's little Fast and the Furious sort of vibe to it. Even this is five miles, and that's like real miles as well. It's not. It's not fake miles. It's real miles. If you just. This map is massive. So, at the moment, it's in real time. It's uh, 3:08. So let's see how long it takes me to get to Washington. I'm gonna try and speed it. Speed it, speed it, speed it. Almost crashed there. That was pretty terrible. <laughs> was smashed right in someone's home, which would have been slightly inconvenient. Uh, they wouldn't have enjoyed that, would they? 
So we do have NOS available. What's this weird turn in here? I'm trying to work out where I'm supposed to go with this. So it's like a weird curve. That was, that's just weird. <laughs> that made no sense to me. The map it looks so weird, right? So you can also do like a zoom out view there. Also got you got a horn. Oh yeah. That's my horn. <laughs> I mean that's pretty useful if you're getting like within the city environment and you want to sort of work out where to go. Bit of a scrape there. Excuse me cars, coming through. This bridge is bloody long. <laughs> really, really long. Yeah, so remember to enter the giveaway to uh, uh, get a code. And I think the codes are quite hard to get hold of. It's not, it's not easy, so um, definitely enter the giveaway and I will be giving away codes just to randomly picking people uh, throughout the next couple of days. Hopefully I can give out a 10, maybe even more. I've got 10 codes already. Hopefully we can get some more codes. Should be quite awesome. I know, I know Ubisoft's quite desperate to fill up the uh, the game and get as many people online to sort of test out the sort of strength for the uh, the servers and stuff like that, which is um, definitely definitely a positive. Right, I've got to turn around. Some of these turns are weird so far. Go through here. Sorry, weird water barrel things. Where have you? Oh. Well, the police saw me there. They're a little bit suspicious. Like, what's that guy up to? To be honest, I don't know. Right, so I've got two miles left. This isn't too bad actually this journey. It's it's fairly fairly shortish. What's that? Discover every type of wild animal. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That sounds a bit weird, but I'll take it. So again you've got these little random like little side missions here, which I'm just gonna ignore. You've got like a little slalom course. Um again that's good for XP. You can upgrade your car. Um but for now, as this is like the beta and I've pretty much up upgraded I'm at the highest level I can. There's no point in me sort of continuing, which sort of sucks, but it is a beta, they can't show me the full game, which would be, yeah, it wouldn't work, would it? Here's the beta, it's got a full game in it. Oh yeah, I've got the full game coming out in November. Oh, what's this? It's experience in night free drive. Oh yeah. That's what they call free roam, it's like a free drive, just literally free roaming around the, uh, around the world, around America's. So this is Washington DC, by the way, we've entered it. We've arrived at our point. It didn't take me too long, actually. Um, about three minutes. Wow, I've done that pretty quick. Right, let's now head. Where do I fancy going next? Sort of heading slowly to the um to the west. That's what we're trying to do. Should we towards Dallas? Do you think? I know it's not the most direct route, but it'd be cool. To, it'd be cool to go to Dallas. Dallas is a cool place. Somewhere I want to go at some point. Um, set waypoint. That's going to be slightly longer, but it's quite, it's quite long, stretchy roads. It's not like, it's not like a really, it's not like a slalom course, so it should be fairly quick, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So it's 21 miles. <laughs> oh boy, this, this could be um, a slightly long journey. Again, feel free to look at the environments and stuff. Oh, there's the Washington Monument, isn't it? This is like a freaking Fallout 3. I was all looking at all the. Uh, Sort of land, not landscapes, like, um, you know what I mean. My mind just went blank. Yeah, so it reminds me a little bit of um, Fallout 3, a little bit. <laughs> Which is a slight weird vibe. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys listen to the engine for a little bit. Listen to the power. Let's go for a bit of a uh, first person view as well. Bud, you're not ready for this yet. Get more experience. I, I can't gain any more experience. They're telling me that. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying when she keeps telling me that. Like, I can't gain any more. You, you capped me. Otherwise, I would be continuing the game desperately. Let's turn right here. So, there's been quite a lot of um, controversy around this game because on the PC, it is locked at 30 frames a second. There is a way to unlock it to do 60. Um, I tried this and it actually like freezes the game a few times, so I decided not to do it. Um, which I guess... What, what city is this, by the way? Is it just a part of Washington? Defense District. Jesus, okay. What the hell's that? Just where they sort of make all the planes and stuff? I don't know. I have no idea. 
Yeah, so there's a way to unlock it to make it do 60 frames a second, which is probably the ideal amount of frames we want for a racing game, to be honest. 60 frames is perfect. 30 is okay, but it's just like... I don't know, it makes no... Oh, shit, I'm on the wrong side. It just makes no sense. And it's just frustrating as well. Like, you... People that have PCs invest in their PCs and give it really good graphics cards, good processors, fast hard drives, and then they give us, like, a, a capped frame rate, which makes... To PC gamers, makes no sense. 60 frames is not ideal. Um, apparently, it's to be locked on every console as well. So PS4, Xbox One's all going all to be locked, running up in full HD as well. Look at that moon, by the way. There's one sexy moon. Looks like a picture. <laughs> it does look slightly odd. That's I'm just taking an image off Google. And I loaded it. Sorry, lampposts. Just knocking them over as I go. How are we doing? It's got 17 miles left. Not too bad. We're getting there slowly. What's this? Jesus Christ, I was that a bit late. I just decided to go for it. Why not? So, so many AI in terms of like traffic. Just just go just moves right in front of me all the time. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I don't know why you do it. Like your mental shit. Whoa, that could have gone really badly. Back in first person again. I know some people love first person. Oh. It's starting to nush that car. And my bonnet is a little bit, or my hood, is a little bit shaky. A few slight knocks <laughs> on my journey. It's impossible not to get at least, or at least knock a car. Because the traffic just dives in front of you all the time. I've got some sort of weird suicide wish. I actually quite like night time as well, because it's just more quiet. The traffic gets a little bit more um, chaotic um, during like busy periods of the day. So got 15 miles left. This is taking me quite a while. This journey's definitely longer. Mainly due to like traffic and just due to the length as well. Do, 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 do. So would you guys like to see more on the beta, just more free roam stuff or what the fuck happened there? Jesus Christ. So I lost I lost two bars of health there. My god. So the car is slightly damaged now. I'm not sure if the wheel if my steering's gonna be a little bit battered, perhaps. That went a bit bad. My car looks... Oh, no, it's full health now. Okay. Does it replenish over time? It does. Okay. It's like a self-repairing car. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I have had a few problems with the game. Uh, this game, it sort of freezes at some points. The game will sometimes crash. Sometimes the sounds will freeze as well, so... At one point, I was playing some of the story missions and the horn froze. It's just a constant horn sound throughout the whole experience, which is just not pleasant. So there's definitely a few little bugs and stuff. But hopefully, this beta can uh, clear some of those bugs up. I mean, the game comes out in November. That's still quite a way away. Whoa! What the fuck? That guy's a mental. Freaking death wish. I don't get it. It's mentalness. So we're in the South Forest Hills. Oh, shit, I know where to go there. Oh, God, I must run someone over. So I'm trying to work out what's the, like, the best the best racing game to come out that's coming out this year. I, I honestly can't work it out. I played Forza, um, I played Drive Club, I played Project Cars, and I played this as well. So I played pretty much all the racing games that are coming out. I just can't work out which one's the, the one I'm most excited for. I'm probably, probably this one, the crew I'm pretty excited about. I would like the graphics to be a little bit more sharper. Compare this to like Forza, it's Forza is more sharper. Um, again, it's they're both sort of free roam as well. So I have a mobile garage. Thank you very much. Sorry about that crash there. Yeah, I like the, I like the crew. I love the fact that the world is just massive. The driving's pretty fun. It's very arcadey, but I mean that's fine. Um, Until you get your experience up, you're bound to get thrashed. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad you trust my driving. No way. You can see the little um, my little health bar on the sort of middle left, that little green bar. That's that's my health, by the way. Just in case you know what I'm talking about. You did it, man. I'm B4 for the Midwest, and that means you, my friend, are a 510. You earned your ink, bro. Get it somewhere tasteful. Like that's it. I'm in. You're on the books. But now that you're official, I get the feeling you want to move up in the world. Just tell me what you need. Cat by the name of Eric Sue runs the East Coast for ship really badly. 
Five tens are losing a lot of money over there, and I promise to send a guy to help out. Fix the East Coast, that's your V2 right there. On it. Sweet. You can tell the story that could be just us getting through the ranks, um, meeting the V8, getting the killers or the brother. That seems to be the main sort of, I guess, sort of, sort of purpose of the story, I guess. This character's pretty pissed off and wants to take down the, the, the five tens as quickly as possible. Perhaps even kill the people that killed his brother, I guess. That seems to be the sort of theory I'm going with. See some people on the um are now on this map as well. We've so got the guy over there with Delta Force and TKF. Whoa, not even looking. Sorry about that. <laughs> TKFX HH15. Oh, I don't want to. My health will replenish anyway. Look, at it, it's going up slowly. That is weird. Look at look at that dirt. That is pretty sweet dirt. Sand, mud, flicked up onto my car, causing havoc. Whoa, okay, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> Just a whole herd of cows. I mean, we are in Texas, I guess. Or near Texas. Are we in Texas? Yes, Texas. Pretty sure, but anyway. So I've got five miles to get to um, Dallas. The home of the cowboys, I guess. I'm, ignore me if I'm... Ooh, shit. I'm not driving ticket that well today. I'm probably talking too much. People move. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? That was um, pretty easy. Yeah, that was only one cop, so they're pretty easy to get away from, to be honest. They're not too difficult. Which is, um, I guess, definitely a positive. I think we can see Dallas. Oh, is that um, Dallas over there? All those skyscrapers? I guess so. I don't know. I feel like the sort of mentality of sort of Americans and like UK, for example, um, Americans seem to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to drive across the country and it's not a massive deal. But for me, if I travel like more than an hour, it's a pretty big deal in terms of like driving in a car. Um, it seems like Americans just jump in a car, go from the east to west sometimes. It's like, it takes ages. And some, sometimes you guys just do it, which is crazy. What's that? Speed skill 120. It's locked as well, so I can't even do it. Which is weird. So, um, Delta Force is the most wanted. So I can take him down, get some XP and stuff. But he's quite far away, 16 miles away. I'm not in any way. I'm not doing that. Ten four. Right, this um, so next white is it here? Stop this here. Yeah, sorry, I've been, I've been driving particularly that well sort of semi looking around me and just not really paying attention at some points seeing the environments and stuff so we're almost in Dallas and this is Dallas just over here I guess Dallas Dallas where's all the cowboys and horses and stuff cowboy hats <laughs> there's not many people around here I guess it's fairly early perhaps but I've arrived in Dallas! Oh yeah. Dallas is sweet. It looks like well, there's not much to look and look around, I guess, but it's pretty cool to see the city anyway, to see Dallas. Do you guys sort of see like Americans I'm pretty like take a target this out? Do you see stuff you recognise, like buildings you recognise? Obviously it's not gonna be exact. It's like a rough sort of plot of how America is. Um, I'm not sure where to head to next. Probably going to head towards... I thought I was going to head towards there, but that's quite an awkward place to get to from this direction. Hmm. Where do I want to go then? What's this over here? Could head towards there. Towards this train station. And sort of head around this way. Sort of head through the mountains. So it looks like there's a stretch of road that goes all the way up to... Oh, it does go all the way. That's fine, actually. I thought it still stopped there, but it doesn't. Looks, it, seems it sort of fades away on this sort of zoomed out view. 
uh, yeah, so that's, I think what I'm going to do is go to here and I'll probably pause the video and we'll probably come back to sort of finish off our journey. We're sort of halfway across, so that's probably about the right sort of position. And I reckon this will probably be about another, oof, another 10 minutes at least driving. 15 miles, oh god. Let's have a quick sip of water. This is thirsty work, this driving. <laughs> this crew driving is very, very tiring. All right, next right excuse me people crazy driver coming through so we're gonna head through dallas what is that it's a big massive radio mobile mast thing got some american school buses for that i mean typically Slow oh down, bud. you're not ready for this yet get more experience jesus she said like 10 million times now please just leave me alone yeah i as far as i know in the uk we don't really have school buses we just they just travel. I used, I used to just travel on a bus, like a normal bus. Um, I think school buses sound like a good idea, though, to me. Like picking up the children, not being like in danger, just roaming the streets at, during like night time or something. I don't know. Seem a little bit dangerous at certain times of the day. Oh, there's something over there. Pretty close by. So I've got 14 miles to go. It's gonna bomb it. Bomb it, bomb it, bomb it, bomb it. And then what we do is the rest of the journey, so we explore the mountains, get to LA. And that's all of our journey done, I guess. Obviously, there's loads more stuff to explore. We only went a, f a fairly direct route from the east to west. Why is there so much traffic? Making me go on, making me do dodgy, dodgy things, dodgy actions to uh, avoid traffic. Which could have caused anarchy and chaos. What the hell is this? Well, another speed skill which has been blocked is this some sort of nuclear power plant or something power station i don't know looks like some sort of facility <laughs> don't know what exactly but, um you do also have this all see i keep getting these like random like green pulses on my map that's actually a satellite we can sort of go to that satellite and sort of open up the map whoa look at all these uh Wonderful wind turbines making lovely electricity with no pollution using the wind. So, got um, 11 miles to go. I've got some slight knocks on my car. There's a few little scratches. The, the, the windows sort of smash at the back. I think, anyway. Looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> There's a lot of wind, wind turbines around here. Like a lot. Oh, helicopter. There's a police car right in front of me. Do not hit it. <laughs> uh, it always went a little bit bad there. Like, heart in my mouth. Please don't kill me. So, would you guys like to see the full game when it comes out? Like, let me know in the comments. We'd like to see the sort of... Just play the whole story. I don't know. I think it's quite quite fun to do. We've, we've sort of touched on this game a little bit. We haven't really explored, the obviously, the story. There's still things to explore, like do different tracks and stuff as well. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, unlocking all the new cars like Aston Martins and all the circuit cars and more dirt cars. You've got like snow cars as well, I think. So, it's, oh, it's just so much content in this game, which it makes me very, very excited. Let's go into first person again for a bit. I do find it slightly harder, I think, in this game to, uh, to drive in first person, but what are you going to do? Just, I mean, for me, it just suits the sort of, the sort of normal sort of third person -y view, whatever you want to call it. I also touched the, uh, the grass a bit there. A right, very harsh left. Ooh, what's this? So, I think it said drive 25 miles in an American car in the south, was it? Pretty sure that's what she, pretty sure that's what it said. I keep forgetting I have NOS. Gives me a nice little boost. 140 miles an hour. 145. I'm pretty sure I've reached like 165 in this car. But that was quite a long straight. <laughs> this is um, a lot of... A lot, lot of corners and traffic and... Stuff which will not work. Ooh. Trying to go straight. Oh shit. Okay for the traffic. Didn't want to kill anyone. Oh, there's a jump here, look. Jump! Woo! Yeah, baby! It's nice. 
Yeah, that jump would probably most likely be a little side missiony, objectivey thing. So you get like, some nice little XP, some unlocks for your car. But uh, like I said, it's unlocked. It's locked. Sorry, it's in the beta. I'm not a high enough level yet. Damn you, game. Damn you. Is the music on? Whoa, what's happened there? I pressed that by accident. <laughs> Press the um, analog stick back. There's my... Uh, no one's in the back, unfortunately. It's just me by myself. I already get a sense from this game that it's like sort of... That's all need for speed vibe, but it's all go, it's all go across... Go across America. Um, I just like that sort of stuff. I think it's really cool. I just want to see more from this Until game. Until you get your experience up, Ooh. you're about to get thrashed. Cheers for the uh, uplifting speech. She can keep saying isn't she? <laughs> Keep saying exactly the same thing. This is quite fun going through this bit. It's like a sort of it's trees and forest and stuff everywhere. Oh, the train there as well. Jesus Christ. What is, what, is that, what is that guy doing? He just stopped in the middle of the road. He's like, nope. I'm going to stop here and be a twat. Bloody hell, man. Honestly. Move the traffic. It does take quiet. Quite a bit of concentration to not crash <laughs> and I, I get so distracted easily like i'm talking obviously i'm looking around me i'm looking at other things i'm so <laughs> i do have the occasional little crash what's that drive 10 miles in copy view Ooh, very nice thank you come on baby what is this it's like a nice little mini little town very cool just so much stuff in this game. I don't know. It must take an ages to make this game. Like, it's just so much stuff to like look at, and oh, it's crazy the amount of how big games are getting these days as well. It's just I love the fact that we're getting close to like pretty much creating the whole of America at this rate. I mean, what's the, what's the next thing? What's Crew Two going to be like? It's going to be mental. Like I said before, I would like the graphics to be a little bit better. Perhaps you see the little wet random pop-ins there, and the graphics aren't. Perhaps as good as some other racing games, for sure. I think Forza Horizon is a lot better looking. But the open world is definitely smaller with Forza. Whoa, shit. See, that was due to the first person view. I'm looking in this small view here when I forget the rest of the cars over there. <laughs> Oops. That's really like, um, like a free screen setup. Oh, yeah. I wish. So I've got one more left. We're pretty close. We get in there, we've pretty much covered half of America, I guess, in some ways. Just up here. Uh, we're going to the train station. As far as I know, when you're on the train stations, obviously that will access the sort of fast travel. So you can fast travel between the different cities very quickly, very much like the plane. Which is obviously very, very cool. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I just killed like three people. Oops! Did you do Right, the train station is just on the right here. That didn't take us too long. I mean, I really wanted, to, like, when we get the full game, I want to do like a full-on like east to west, quick as possible in like the, the fastest car. That would be so cool. I'd be want to do that at some point. That'd be so fun. Anyway, the train station. We can enter it and we can travel to all these train stations. Can we travel to that one? Can I travel to like that one? I can. I can go to any train station. That's pretty cool. What's this one up here? Ooh, Salt Lake City. Got Seattle over here as well, I guess. Seattle, yep. Um, got LA over here as well. So you got loads of the train stations around. What's up? What's up here? Ooh, okay, cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Crew from See More. Hit the like button. Don't forget the giveaway. All the stuff will be in the description, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.